world, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a cruel cool YouTuber trying to have a yellow no-buy. And today it's the last day in my Forgotten Colourpop palette week. So this whole week I have been using Forgotten palettes from Colourpop. And I did pick out five palettes in my collection from Colourpop that I haven't used that much or that has been super long since I used them. And it has actually been so, so fun to do this. Today it's the last palette, as I said, and it's at Forest Sight. Uh, that was the collab between Raw Beauty Christie and Colourpop. That looks like this. And I have only used this once, what I can remember. And I actually really... I am not, like, super sure what I want to do. But I think I might know. So I will just prime my eyes and then we get started. So the looks that I've been thinking about, I have gone like from a um, green halo eye to like a lighter matte look to a really deep look. And if I'm going to be honest, I have no clue of what I want to do. And that feels maybe not the best. And I don't know why I do struggle with this. I don't know if it is because it's only two shimmers and that like I want to use a shimmer but then it's only two shimmers because in this palette and it, it feels like it has been in all the palettes that I've used this week. It has a matte with shimmers and that is not a favorite for me. I think like it's hard to know how that is going to look but okay because i did a green halo with the child palette if you haven't seen that video it was a second look maybe this week i think i will just see where this is going i'm going to start with chanterelle <laughs> it feels so strange to say that name in swedish it is cantarelle it's the mushroom i guess so chanterelle and then i think i will go in with puffball this one I think we might start like that and then see how this <laughs> will look and go from there. And I have talked about this a little bit earlier this week that um, I have never been a Raw Beauty Christy fan. I have seen some of her videos but like I have never... <sighs> okay bigger youtubers <laughs> have never been like the main thing that i've been watching i don't know why and uh, raw beauty christy i just have just seen like some of her videos i have nothing against her but it's nothing that i want to see every video from her and when this came out i would have bought it even though it wasn't Raw Beauty Christie collab palette because I just think it is a really nice palette. And this shade was actually really nice. I don't think I've used this before. And now I think I again changing my mind on what I want to do. But we will we just just keep with me. I am going to go in with yeah the puffball this one the puff puffball this one and deepen down my crease. I don't know if this is so much deeper, but we'll see. And I know that in this collection, I think he came out with like pens and was it maybe highlighters? Or blushes I don't know but I I was tempted to buy the pants that I can remember but I decided to only buy the palette and maybe if I would have watched Rob Beauty Christy more maybe then I would have used this palette more than I have done but yeah it has never been a palette that I have been wanting to take out and uh, I have no idea why. Yeah. So this looks good so far. I think I want to take 
West Coast this gold shimmer as my shimmer for this look, but what I want to take for matte now, I don't know. Maybe I should take this Emerald City, darker green, and we will see how that will look. I hope it will look good. Gold and green and um, yellow do look good together. I'm not worried about that. I'm just a bit worried how deep this will be. Yeah, kind of deep. And I will try to not go like too much. And try to not make it super messy in my crease. Maybe something like that. I don't want to blend it like too much, but I still want the depth of it. And I hope that you have been liking this week because actually when I'm filming this, this is today it's Saturday. So the week starts on Monday. I'm going to start to upload the videos. So I have actually no idea what you will think about this week. And that I usually film the last like two looks in the week so I can see like the response but now I just haven't because I am going to do a thing in December and I do need to pre-film for that so I just wanted to do this kind of quick and try to like really <laughs> be in time for once we will see how that goes <laughs> but i've actually i'm on it and uh, also it has been more fun than i thought it was going to be if i'm going to be honest i thought it was going to be like okay because i don't love these palettes and that is because i haven't used them much and i was like maybe it's going to be like a really boring week for me but it has actually been really fun. So I am going in with West Coast. Did I say that? But I'm actually going to cut my crease. Because I don't want shimmers everywhere. I'm cutting my crease. I just... I'm so used to having a mirror or I like to have mirrors in my palette so I'm like looking on the palette but there is no mirror there. Okay, do you know what I actually think I want to do? I want to take the other shimmer, this evergreen and take it on my little finger and put it here between the matte and the gold one. And then I'm just going in with the brush that I had the matte shade on with no extra product. And just blending it. Okay. I need to go in like a little bit more up here. And I don't know why I'm using my finger, but I'm starting to like to do that. And I am surprised that I am because it's never have been anything <laughs> that I have liked. And okay, I I do like this. I think it looks good. So I'm going to uh, cut this crease as well. And I'm glad that the green was as steep at it as it is. This is so hard. I'm doing, I'm cutting now with only my big mirror that is right under the camera. And I'm usually holding a mirror pretty close because it's a little bit hard. And when I did my first impression with this palette, I used both of the shimmers then as well. And I don't know if it is like Raw Beauty Crystal that doesn't like shimmer that much, but I think it would have been fun with at least one more shimmer. But, but I do like this look, but I wish it was one more shimmer. And yeah, I do like these lids. I think that the green matte is 
deep enough and I think that it looks kind of good with this yellow-ish in my crease together with the yellow shimmer or the gold shimmer so I will take away the fallouts, fix my base and uh, then I come back and I guess I'm going to try to wrap up this whole week and um, this is the finished look for my face I did use Ombra <laughs> from Nabla, Buskill from Melt and Ozone from Nabla doesn't feel like I use like anything else for my waterline. I did use Wildcat from Colourpop and my lips. I'm not sure about this, but I took the um, extra saucy from those of colors. And this isn't the red that I use that often because I have always think like it's really, really deep. But this is not the deep red. It's kind of a cold tone. It feels like it has really much blue in it. Maybe that's why. I'm not super happy about the choice, but I do have a problem. Astrid is sleeping in front of my lipsticks, so this is what <laughs> this is what I could reach. So yeah, I do really like this look. I think that the gold shimmer is really really nice. I do like the other shimmer as well. This evergreen, and I like this one. I think it's deep enough to be like the deepest shade in a look so yeah i do like this look as well and it feels like this is going really good this week like i have liked all the looks that i have done and i don't know if, am i going to do a review of all the palettes i've talked a little bit about the palettes in the end and it feels like with all of the palettes i have said that is nothing that is like super special and super unique and I don't know if it is it with this one either. Now I haven't used all the shades. So I like don't know if there is some of the shades that do like make up for the whole palette. If you get what I'm meaning with that. But yeah, I do like this and it feels like it's really deep for being a Colourpop palette. The thing that I miss is more shimmers. Like it's 12 <laughs> shades and it's only two shimmers. I would have loved it if it would have been like one shimmer row. Now that I'm not like that known to Raw Beauty Christie, maybe like this is her thing. Maybe shimmers isn't her favorite. And I guess that always when you're using a collab palette, you have to like take it. It, it is Raw Beauty Christie's palette together with Colourpop and it's her spin to it. It's not the Colourpop palette only. So yeah. Maybe, I don't know, but I do <laughs> like, I do like the packaging with this one and I like, I don't know if you noticed it, but like the background is a little bit colored as well. Like it is a little bit reddish down here and a bit more green up here. I do, I think that that is nice. So yeah, I guess i'm going to try to use this palette more because i do like this look i think it looks really good i love to match yellow gold and green together i think that is just a super good combo and i hope that you really have a like this week it has been so much more fun than i thought it was going to be i don't know if I'm going to use any of these palettes more, I think, though I'm going to use this more, maybe. And I also, like, I want to discover the Lush Life palette more. But, yeah. It has been so much more fun than I thought it was going to be. And I am now going to have a little break with my theme weeks. This is the last theme week for this year because I'm doing a thing in December that is going to take up December. And I am not going to have any time to post any new theme weeks. And yeah, it's not going... I'm not going to have time to do that. So the themes are coming back next year. And I do have some themes that I have in mind that I want to do. And yeah, I really, really hope that you like this video. And if you have any of these palettes, I really hope that I've inspired you to use them again. Or if you have like similar colors in your collection to get some inspiration from these looks. I really do hope that that is like the point 
Um, I really want to inspire you and I love it and I'm so happy when you tell me in the comments that I've inspired you with a certain look. So yeah, this was all for this video. I hope that you have liked it and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!